Today we'll launch a VNS3 instance from the CenturyLink cloud. This video will be a bit of a cooking show demonstration. We'll magically have a full cooked VNS3 turkey come out of the oven at the end. There are a few steps that take a while, so we're going to abbreviate it. So starting from the knowledge base article on CenturyLink, here's all the information you'll need if you ever need to reference it. We also have a documentation page on Cohesive. So start by logging into the CenturyLink control portal. The first step is to add a network. So we'll start and create a new VLAN. So we'll start by clicking Add Network. Once your network goes through all three steps, you'll see your VLAN details and it will show you all of your available IPsec addresses. So note down an available free IPsec address. Also write down your network mask and your gateway IP. Next you'll write an email to the CenturyLink support team to request the template delivered into your CenturyLink account. Make sure to include your CenturyLink account alias, pen verification for support, your administrator username and password, and the data center you want to import it to. Today we'll use Chicago. You can optionally create a group and name it. And then tell CenturyLink the server name you want to import your image to. There's a limit of six characters. Make sure to include interface ETH0. Include your free VLAN IP address. We just picked 13 before. The netmask. 25.255.255.255.0, your VLAN gateway, and your DNS servers. So click Send. After you send your email to CenturyLink, you'll need to make sure that your VPN is configured with the client VPN. In CenturyLink, click on VPN under Network. Click download the default VPN or create a new one. And then make sure that your VPN client connects to your CenturyLink VPN. In this example, I'm using Viscosity. You can also use any other VPN client that works with OpenVPN. <clears throat> we'll go back to the dashboard. And in about 24 hours, you will magically have a VNS3 server in your account. Here it is in Chicago in the group VNS3 demo. And here's our VNS3 server. Next, we'll add a public IP address so that we can reach the UI. So TCP 8000, custom port. UDP 1194. We'll do a port range of UDP 1195 through 1197 and UDP 500. You'll want to restrict the source traffic to your source IP 10.91.35.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
You can choose between pre-configured or custom license parameters. We'll go with pre-configured and say submit. Next, your VNS3 controller will reboot and begin with your new license parameters. Next, you'll want to configure and customize your VNS3 controller. For those steps, you can go to the documentation page. It's under support documentation. And here's a link to our Sentry link that we just went through. Next, follow all the steps in the configuration instructions.
Next, you'll add a public IP address. And you'll specify custom port. Single port for TCP 8000. Single port of UDP 1194. A port range of UDP 1195 through 1197, but not the dash. And then a single port UDP 500. You'll want to restrict your traffic source to your IP address, so we'll pretend it's 192.168.10.1, add the public IP, 